today is a particularly exciting video for me. This is a video that I've wanted to make even before I had my YouTube channel. This is a video that has been in the back of my mind for a long, long time. As a lot of you probably know, my Instagram page is something that I enjoy very, very much. It's so fun to post and share all the things that I see that make me laugh and uh, bring together a community of people that uh, have the same sense of humor as me. It's just so heartwarming for me in a way. It's it's beyond compare. One of, if not my absolute favorite part of posting on Instagram is the comments. I absolutely love reading the comments on my posts. It's absolutely insane how funny I could think something is and how much more funny it can be from the things that people say. In this video, I would like to highlight some of the unsung heroes of Instagram. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 separate memes that I posted to my Instagram account and take a dive into the comment section and read you some of the gems in there. Of course, if there's if there's a pinned comment on any of these, I'll most likely be reading it. The pinned comment is usually the cream of the crop in these comment sections. The best of the best, if you will. A slight disclaimer for this video. If it's your comment that I'm reading out, very sorry if I don't say your username. I didn't write down all of them, but every screenshot of every comment that I read will be on screen. I also obviously couldn't get to every single meme I've ever posted because I've posted so many and there's been so many comments, but I do plan on making this a series where I visit 10 different memes every single video. Without further ado, let's take a, a bit of a dive, a little, bit, a little bit of a detour back into my archive of memes that I've posted. Roll the first clip. It's not even pink, this raw. And Coop has delivered undercooked salmon. As you can see in that video, we just witnessed Gordon Ramsay completely obliterate a piece of salmon, which is something something that you have to see at least once in your life, I'm sure. So the only comment that I wanted to highlight on this specific video was a user named Aaron is sad. He simply commented beyond repair. I would wholeheartedly agree with him on that one. That he hits that salmon so fucking hard. <laughs> on to the second video. Oh, yeah. As you saw, the second video says enemies of Christ when the heavens open and the Lord returns to purify this wretched earth. As you can imagine, we got a guy in the comments that uh, had a, had an opinion that if you if you say this anywhere on the internet, you're just looking to fight somebody, I think. So that's kind of just what he was kind of getting into when he posted that. And the only reason that I highlight this comment at all is because of the replies to it. The first, the first, the first reply just says "enemy of God detected." He he comes back and he says that the Earth manifested itself and whatever. But then the hero of this story waltzes through the saloon doors, and his name is Gangweed Joker. In my opinion, he is a prolific folk hero of my comment section. Gangweed Joker comes in and just as simply and calmly says, "Okay, nerd." Then of course this this dude comes back with some bullshit and Joker comes back with a with a very firm but fair nerd detected. Then this guy comes back and says some real shit. He he says shit like I pity your small brain. But I like to I like to imagine this as if it's like a conversation and as soon as he says I pity your small brain, Gangweed Joker immediately comes back with nerd detector going off. God bless you, Gangweed Joker. God bless you. On to the next video. Be like, uh, yeah. this, this one's a good one. It shows a Wikipedia page. It shows the part where it says personal life. There's two footnotes, one being addiction and one being racism. And then, of course, what I can assume to be is untimely demise. The best comment on this one by far was by M. Turner 724, who simply said, the ideal American life. That's it. That's the dream. On to the next meme. The, the basis of this is Dr. Doofenshmirtz from Phineas and Ferb explaining the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's 4. The footage of which is from a skit in which they brought Dr. Doofenshmirtz on the TV show Shark Tank. So the comment that I want to highlight is just somebody who said, don't fucking tell me Shark Tank actually. And of course, I responded with Shark Tank actually. And then that person probably got their inbox a little bit flooded with some 
with some comments, which is it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. This is the next video. I'm not gonna show it to you. Do you guys remember when the clone high craze was going on? That was that was something. This specific video is a mashup of some clone high and some Among Us. I'm going to spare your brains the flashbacks. Nonetheless, a hilarious comment was left on this post, and it just <laughs> it just says they should put Juice World in the Clone High reboot. It's a it's a good idea, a a great idea even. They should definitely do that. They should they should definitely put Juice World in the Clone High reboot. Roll the next video. Oh, oh, oh. This one just says Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and then it has a video of Squidward being horribly injured. Uh, <laughs> As you can imagine, I posted this after her, her passing, and in my caption I put, rest in peace. It just so happens that this meme harbors one of the funniest comments I think I've gotten on my entire page. It just says, she died, but not me. I'm not sure if he's just stating that fact, that he's, that he's not passed away, or if he's implying that he was present at her passing or in or the probably the funniest he's just like flexing on this old dead supreme court justice <laughs> somebody was quick to ask him if he was 100 percent sure and he responded with don't compare me to these other <laughs> he says that immediately after comparing himself to ruth Bader ginsburg he's just built different he's just built there okay next one <laughs> The one comment on this one that was so funny, it just said, it just said, walk it off. <laughs> Be, he's just being dramatic, trust me. Next one up, meme number eight. We're on the home stretch here. This ominous apple actually got some, some pretty, some pretty fire comments in the, <laughs> here's the three pinned comments that I pinned on this one. One of them just says, point of view, you're a doctor. Another one just says, Apple wants my tax returns. I don't, I don't think he's wrong. I think he wants, he wants something. And then we see the return of Gangweed Joker in this same video with his comment, Pitbull's looking at my infant son. <laughs> Next video. Here. Where, Dwight? Seems like you already know where. Okay, as you saw, that one just said, the government asking me about the 45 missing car batteries as I stand on the edge of the pier. Obviously implying that I have dumped all 45 car batteries into the ocean. That did not stop one person telling me that it was a shit meme because he did not understand it. <laughs> That's me, like me traveling to France and saying it's a shit country because I don't know what the hell they're saying. Anyway, this this specific video kind of garnered a, a bit of a large argument in the comments, uh, starting with this guy who commented, this is the type of shit that will just get dumbass kids doing it, just pointless pollution. A lot of people quickly bit back at him, and then the great Landon Spore walks into the battle. And with these words, he shakes the ground like a dragonborn in Skyrim. He replies to this guy simply saying, doo doo fart and then quickly follows up his comment with ball sacks. But around this time, I kind of jumped into the mix of things given that was my post in the first place. I basically I basically told that first guy that a meme like this isn't going to influence anybody. I followed that up with also doo-doo fart and ball sacks like my boy Landon Spore said. His comeback to that was less than ironclad to say the least. He responded with, what kind of kids eat Tide Pods? One, one battery per idiot can't expect them to acquire more than that kind of jumped back for the last time and just said uh did you just compare tide pods to a whole ass car battery <laughs> anyone who is going through the trouble of throwing a car battery into the ocean was already going to do it and with that devotion frankly i don't think anyone could stop them <laughs> i direct messaged him after that and he just said he was kind of trolling a little bit so so all is forgiven there now the moral of the story doo doo fart and ball sacks as well on to the last video that's just like a clip from an episode of futurama in which bender shows fry a picture and he immediately disintegrates into nothingness uh it's one of my favorite videos of all time it's so random and with this music it's just it's too good 
the first comment that I wanted to bring to light on this video just says SCP uh, number one. If you don't know what SCP is, it's like a it's like it's like stories about like a, a government unit that contains monsters and not each given a number. I researched what the first one is and it's like uh, it's classified or whatever. They give you a bunch of different ones that you don't know which one's real. But before that, it gives you a warning that says that anybody unauthorized to read this will suffer cardiac arrest. So I imagine that's what they were referring to. I saved the best for last. The pinned comment on this video simply said this. <laughs> Commenting something like this on this video makes it a million times funnier. It's just too good. It's just too good. If you don't find enjoyment out of that, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing with your life. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. I definitely plan on making more of these, uh, highlighting some more funny comments. This is by far a really important video for me to make. It was a blast going back into and looking at some of my old things I posted and seeing all the comments and stuff. I'm sure it will be an absolute blast of a series to make. If you like this video, you can actually like this video, like literally. You can literally like it. If you liked it, you can actually like it. Also comment and then you can also subscribe, which would be very, very cool. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. I want some cheeseburgers just to eat. I'm talking get your my nigga must sit on the beat. You gotta put a lot of ladies please. Because I like to have a lot of green. I remember eating outside with my whole team. Now a nigga gotta stay home cause of corn. This is gonna be the best summer ever. And it was, but Nate soon found himself put to work on a southern plantation.